Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can save the data in database. So we will do it with the HTML uh, form help. So first of all, we will make a HTML form in the view. Then we will make controller and model. Then we, we have to make the route for view and as for the controller. Then uh, we will write the code for save data in the table. And at the last, I will ask you an interview question. You can attempt this question in the comment box also. Yes, I will show you a very important error uh, when you just want to save the data in the database, then might be you will face this error and I will tell you that how you can resolve it. So you can say that this is a very straightforward tutorial to just save the data in the database. We will create everything from the scratch, right? So let's look out for the my database. This is my blog my database and my table name is members I already have here 17 members and we will add the 18 19 and 20s like more members here with the help of HTML form now right when you just want to connect with the database first of all you need to check that you did the configuration or not for your uh, project with the connecting the database so you need to do the three changes first of all you need to add the uh, database name so in my case database name is blog here you can see that then uh, it's a username my case in my case my username is root and my password is this might be in your case passwords can be blank so keep in mind that don't try to just copy this one so now first of all we have to create a form so just go for the uh, resources view and let's create a new file and let's write here add member dot blade dot php and just simply write here html or oh, you don't need to write there html and all so you can just simply put here like uh, add members so that uh, you can just see a headline here and after that let's add a sim oh shit simple form and uh, my method will be the post then uh, we have to take the CSRF token so that it can validate that we are sending the request from the right site then just add here some inputs input type like text name can be name why I am just taking the name as a name because I have the three field name email and address and I will take the same name you can take the different name also if you want but I will refer that prefer that it's, it should be the same placeholder like uh, enter name or something then BR tag let's take two BR tags so that uh, we can just maintain some space between the fields password okay no we don't need password we have the email field then we have the address field and the last just simply write here email and address and uh, now let's make a route for it and let's go to the web.php just write here route and just write here uh, view method name and add is my url and add members or oh, it's a member or members it's a member so just write it and at the last let's put the semicolon now let's try to access the add now you can see that we have three fields but we don't have button so let's make a button also and just write here add member class or let's define the type can be submit right now this form is ready to submit but uh, we also need uh, the controller and model so just write here php artisan make model and uh, let's create the controller first and controller name can be like um, mm, member controller 
right and uh, let's see where this is created inside the app http and here it is right let's define a function here and here and let's say function name is uh, add data or something and uh, just put it blank for a moment and when we are accepting the data from the uh, form then we have to just uh, put the parameter here with the request type so just put here request and just simply write here dollar request right and now let's make a route for this one also so just write here route post and for the post we will add again add url we can have the two url with the same name but the method should be the different right and now let's uh, just put the path of uh, this um, controller so just use here use app http then define the controllers and uh, let's put that name right here okay, right and now let's just take second parameter as an array put your class name or controller name and just put here class and in the second parameter just add the function name which you defined in the controller which is add data so just write here add data right so that's great now uh, let's define this add route on the action of your form this is also done now and now let's make the model also so just write here php artisan make model and what should our model name our model name should be member because our table name is members and uh, as i told you in the previous video also that uh, the database table name should be the plural and our model name should be the singular if you want to map them without defining the table name right and just put here member Hit then enter and uh, we got the this uh, you can say the control uh, model inside the uh, models and member here right so now let's uh, uh, import this inside the controller so just write here use app models and uh, model name which is member right now let's uh, define the instance of it let's say member equal to new member right and now just right here member name will become from the request and uh, with the name field name name so let's define the two more one is the email address and uh, now the second one is the email and put here address just define here address also right so these also defined and at the last let's just use here dollar member arrow save now when you want to try to save it then you will find a error here so let me just save like uh, uh, sam email id is sam at the rate sam.com and the address will be let's say gurugaon right and add it now you can see that we got an error with the column unnamed unknown column update why this is coming because laravel expected that in every table of your database should have the two field one is updated at here you can see that updated at and second one is the created at but we don't have these table so should we create them if you want to create them then you can create you don't need to just uh, do some extra configuration but if you don't want to define them because uh, your table structure is already fine then uh, you can just do one thing let's go to the member and just define a public property dollar 
time stamp right and it will be false right so now let's try to save it All right i think i just made any some mistake in this yep i don't need to define the another a here actually i just got that now let's try to save it all right so now you can see that we have got the blank page but that is stored here so if you want to check it you can just check it i have some issue with the uh, page admin so ignore these warnings and here you can see that sam at the rate sam gurgaon and the sam entry has been done so now let's uh, just redirect it return redirect on uh, uh, add right and now let's try to again enter some values let's say i just want to put here like uh, anil siddhu email address anil at the rate test dot com and uh, email address is anil all right this is the address let's say noida and just save it now you can see that after just uh, processing this data this is automatically redirect on the add page back again right but if you want to check the data then our entry has been done at the number of 19 with the nil situ name so this is the way that how we can add the data so now what is uh, the question so can we just save the data in the two table as we just saved in the data in a one table right so what is the best approach to save the data in two table with the one model uh, so you can com comment this answer in the comment box if you want to do otherwise that's okay thanks for watching this video please uh, like this video and subscribe my channel and uh, god bless you